Hey guys, it's me again, Matsachi, 18 years old, and I'm a proud Israelist Arab Muslim. Today, I have a message for the UN. Today, I have a message for the Palestinian people. Today, I have a message for every single nation of the world. Today, I have a message for the whole world. Israel doesn't hate Arabs, alright? And I'm saying this first as a Muslim, as an Arab, as an Israeli who lives here in Israel, and as a Zionist. Israel doesn't hate Arabs. Actually, there are 1.6 million Arabs who live here in Israel. Can you imagine this? I mean, it's really crazy. 1.6 million Arabs who live here in Israel with all of their rights. They live equally and peacefully, and the most important right is the right to live, and they get the same rights that the Jewish people get in the Jewish state of Israel. Israel wants peace. And because of this, Israel made peace with uh, Egypt in uh, July 1994 and peace with Jordan in October 1994. And because of this, Israel ha has uh, embassies, uh, an embassy in Cairo in Egypt and uh, another embassy in Amman in Jordan. But what about the big Israel-Palestinian conflict? Why peace with Palestinians is uh, impossible? Well, the answer is pretty simple. But first, I will tell. But first, let me tell you myself clearly. Uh, my father was born in Gaza, right? And I have brothers and sisters from another mother in Gaza. I have a whole family in Gaza. The Palestinians live under occupation. That's the truth. Yeah, that's the truth. The Palestinians they live under occupation. The uh, not the BBC or the CNN or the BDS occupation. No, the real occupation. The occupation because of Hamas. The occupation because of Hamas. My father once told me that when Hamas got the power and when Hamas got the authority in Gaza, when Hamas occupied Gaza, they killed hundreds of children in a cold blood in Gaza with, uh, between the war, in the war between Hamas and Fatah. In Gaza, they killed hundreds of children, and uh, my sister, uh, who lives in Gaza, she lives in Gaza, and she's a teacher, and she told me that she only gets about two thousand dollars a month, and a Palestinian terrorist who killed or he kills uh, Jewish people or Jewish uh, or Jewish citizen gets about six thousand dollars a month. I mean, that's really crazy, right? That's really crazy. We cannot make peace with people who are insane against us. We cannot negotiate with terrorists, right? And Israel will not negotiate with terrorists. I mean, only three days ago, Palestinian terrorists killed three Israeli soldiers. Here in Israel, only three days ago. And uh, in an interview with the Palestinian leader terrorist Mahmoud Abbas, he said that he welcomes every single drop of blood in uh, Israel. And it's really sad because the main problem, the main conflict between the Israelis and the Palestinians is that the Palestinians, they educate their children to kill and they educate till, uh, their children to hate. And actually, the main conflict between Israel and the Palestinians is that they don't want to recognize the Jewish state of Israel. I mean, Jordan and Egypt recognize the Jewish state of Israel, and we and they're great allies of uh, of us of Israel. But the main problem here is not with Arabs. The main problem here is with terrorists. The main problem here is with the Palestinian terrorists. The main problem here is with Hamas, a terror organization who is responsible for killing many innocent people. Not only Jewish innocent people, but Americans and Kurdish people and many other people. And British people, French people. And you can't check this on the internet. They're responsible for killing many innocent people, right? And this terror organization cannot control the Palestinians. But sadly, they're controlling them. And this is really sad. They're controlling them and they're, they succeed to do this because they washed the Palestinian mind. And now the Palestinian dream is to kill and to stab for bloodshed, for Jerusalem's sake, for terror. So.
I don't know, I know what to say. It's really sad. Because, or, let me be clear. Israel is the light of hope in the Middle East. And one thing I'm pretty sure about this, about, about it, is that Israel will always promote peace. Israel will always promote love and peace with the good people, not with terrorists. And as always, guys, I'm Israel Chai. Goodbye.